what would it look like if somebody with a fashion sense that unyielding decided to design a room for their kids? Hi, and welcome back to me talking about whatever I want. Today, I want to talk about the Kardashian family's playroom because words cannot describe how unsettled I am by this, uh, this literal kids room. But first, of course, I'd like to do a comment shout out from my last video. This comment actually goes out to Emma, who says, every time you say, welcome back to me talking about whatever I want, I feel empowered through you. I actually like this comment because I feel empowered too. There's something nice about being this laid back and being able to just kind of talk about things that weigh on me. You know, sometimes it's extremely serious situations that are bordering on illegal. And at times like this, I just, you know what, let's just jump into it and I'll let you decide how you feel. How about that? So I feel like Kim Kardashian's one of those people who I don't have to give an intro for. Multi, multi-millionaire, massive reality TV star, married to one of the biggest rappers in the game. And probably most notably, she looks like uh, this. There's not much to say about Miss Kardashian that hasn't been said before, so I'm just not gonna say anything. But just as strange and disconnected from reality as I think Kim Kardashian and Kanye West both are, I have to give them props because they have a really beautiful family. They have uh, four kids named Psalm, Saint, Chicago, and North. Holy crap, I knew their names off the top of my head. Am I becoming one of those people? To be fair, I just saw it in these articles I've been reading, okay? You know, the Kardashian West family is no stranger to finding itself in the news usually for mildly harmless things, but um, this time they're in the news because Kim K went on Snapchat and showed off her kid's playroom. First off, like millions of people, thanks to H3H3 and Architectural Digest, I'm already quite familiar with the inside of the Kardashian family home. But just as a little refresher, I pulled up this Architectural Digest article, which imagine spending so much money on your house that you get an article about it in an architecture magazine. So as you can see, this is their house. It was designed by uh, Axel Vervoort and Kanye West and a couple of other people who have too much money. And it's what I would call oppressively expensive. Like it's rich to the point where i would feel bad living there it's overwhelmingly pristine like here's an image of them just playing on what appears to be a pillow shaped like an octopus or a snake or perhaps a snake that ate an octopus oh apparently this misshapen pillow is installation art by isabel rower because why wouldn't it be but as you can see they're dressed in all white the sculpture is white the floor is white the walls are white, and the painting off to the side is also white. Now, before y'all hop in my comment section and tell me that I'm not one to talk because everything in my room right now is gray, my walls are gray, the mirror is gray, this chair is gray, the paintings on my wall are gray, I'm wearing black and gray. I have these black headphones right here, but I also have these other headphones right here, which are gray. You know, I, I don't have a problem. I can stop anytime I want. Okay, I'm not addicted to getting everything in the same color. I'm not gonna lie to you, Chief. Even, even my curtains are gray. But my excuse. All right, fine. I'm a hypocrite. I don't have an excuse. But you know what? At least my room is nice. Okay, and it feels like somewhere that somebody can live in. I hope. I just realized you can see my books in the corner, and they're they're all gray. You know what? Maybe. I have no room to talk. But then I go back and look at a picture of their house, and I immediately feel justified for calling them out. Their house just looks empty. Like, it looks like nobody lives there. Look at how tiny these kids are. That baby right there is gonna think that he never left the hospital. That is how white the walls are. This hallway in their home looks like Monument Valley. Have you ever played that? That's what this hallway looks like. Their living room looks like an unfinished blender model. What is wrong with the window in their kitchen? It look- It- it has no sill. It just dawned on me. This window has no sill and no curtains. It's just a, a square hole in the wall. Okay, their pool is nice. Yeah, the pool is nice. I don't really have anything to say about that. They have like heads on pillars next to yet another window without a sill. So wait, is this how you can tell I'm not a millionaire? Cause I have a window sill. Should I just cut this off and then the value of the home I'm in will instantly double? I don't even know what kind of room this is. Who puts a table in front of a couch? Oh yeah, Um, I think this place right here is actually an installation piece. It's called depression. Okay, I do have to say the outside of the house is actually really nice. I would do anything to be surrounded by that many plants. But yeah, that is the Kim Kardashian slash Kanye West monastery art installation museum uh nightmare 
that they call home. If I woke up in that place, I would feel like I was in a nightmare. Even if I lived there for like three years, every single day I wake up, I would freshly think, I've been kidnapped by a psychopath. And then I would remember that it was my house and I'm just rich enough to unironically have that look. So now that we've explored the glory of the Kardashian West home, I want you to ask yourself, what would it look like if somebody with a fashion sense that unyielding decided to design a room for their kids. Now, what I thought at first was that they just made the kids play <laughs> in these white rooms. It's like, Daddy, can we paint the walls? Oh, sure. He just like pulls out a can of white paint. It's like, no, I mean a different color. Yeah, this is this is an even brighter shade of white. I thought they made the kids live in these hospital corridors with like all white sheets and no toys. But uh, without further ado, here it is. So I'm cleaning up for the night and just because you guys always say my house is so like minimal, well, you guys haven't seen my playroom. Hold up. She's cleaning up for the night, meaning she cleans her kids' playroom every single day. Also, do you honestly expect me to believe that kim kardashian the kim kardashian has cleaned the room in the past 39 years so we have our stage here where the kids often have a band a stage okay okay when i was a kid i wanted to be a singer too um considering the fact that i sound like trash when i sing it's probably good that that dream didn't work out for me and again have you heard some of these people on the radio i i, I mean I might have stood a chance. But like when I wanted to play pretend, I might have gotten a cardboard box. Usually a toilet paper roll, but maybe a toy microphone if it was like a good Christmas. These kids have a stage, a drum set. Bro, this isn't Fisher Price, this is Yamaha. Where do you find a full drum set in toddler size? Then over here is our projector. So they watch movies while they sit in the playroom i was allowed to watch tv but if i wanted to watch it i had to clean my room first and then you know go ask for permission to maybe watch my parents tv and they usually said yes but um apparently i could have just had a projector we have our sing-along microphones and violins the kids play instruments north plays violin um we have some section over here of just all the little toys you know what's getting to me she talks about like the full set of drums and the custom stage and the projector in the ceiling, the same way she talks about, you know, Psalm's little toys. I think that these people have so much money, they don't see a distinction between a little toy and a full drum set. I'm not even gonna lie to you, that that's goals. He likes, and then all, the dollhouse is here. But... Okay, so why is the dollhouse bigger than the house I'm in. That shouldn't be right. That's not right, is it? But it happened. North's like OMG dolls that she's obsessed with. And then all the baby carriages for Shy. That was a whole stroller. What? All the baby carriages. Even when my siblings were babies, we, we had one. I feel like I'm gonna be thinking about this video for a long time. The whole paint section. This is where they do their homework and the little paint cart. Did you see how sharp that table was? Okay, okay, okay. I'm not gonna tell them how to parent. Well, yes, yes, yes I am. When my brother, well now here I am exposing him without his permission. When he was like a little baby, maybe two years old, we had this coffee table. And my dad was actually really proud of this coffee table because I don't remember if he like had bought it or he found it, but it was nice. It was solid wood, it was kind of heavy and it had like this glass middle. Um. There's no middle of the story, okay? So that's the beginning, and the end of the story is that my brother ran head on into the corner of that, and we had to throw it away. That's basically how it goes when you don't baby proof sharp corners on your furniture. But here we have a table in the kids' playroom that looks like, I think it cut me just from watching this video. All in here is organized educational stuff for their homework that they sit and do here. Now, this is where we're bordering on, cur I don't know if creepy is the word, but like, why are the books color coded? The books are color coded, the pencils are, the toys are color coded. I don't know how much experience you've had with kids, but like, if you present them a system 
they will turn it into an art installation for all intents and purposes. So either she is making the kids keep everything color coordinated or she is having her people go back and recolor coordinate every single thing every single night. I don't know which one of those is more insane. Wait a minute. Those toys up there, aren't those like several hundred dollars? What kid is even going to know that these exist, let alone want to put it on their shelf? Every drawer here is Legos, color coordinated. The Legos are color coordinated. So is he like not allowed to use them? Hold on. Kim Kardashian kids ages. The first two are four and nine months old. So first of all, that's the creepiest question I've ever asked Google in my entire life. Secondly, Saint is four. So like, why are his Legos color core? He, she's not letting him use them. That's my only conclusion. He's not allowed to play with the Legos. Either that or she's just lying and pretending like the Legos are always color coordinated, which is equally likely, but honestly kind of sad. This is Shy's world over here. You have her ice cream parlor, her grocery store. They have a grocery store as a toy? They have a toy grocery store. Poverty exists, but some people have toy grocery stores. This is Shy's world over here. You have her ice cream parlor, her grocery store. I have to show you in her little grocery store, you have to see, look, it goes down the line and then you like ring things up and then once you type in like whatever, you go on this side and you have to like sign your name for the products. It's a, f a functioning grocery store. Wh I think I'm losing it. No, I think I lost it before I decided to do this video, and I'm only realizing that now. So there you have it, people. There's color. Okay, she sounds really offended. There you have it, people. There's color. <laughs> in other words, hey, we may live in an all-white house, but, but, but I swear there's color in the room. We put color in the kids' room, and, and it's coordinated, and all the stuffed animals have X's in their eyes, like, like they're dead, because that's normal. You know, I, I gave my kids a dead Elmo for, for Christmas. Big Bird is dead, and it's, it's definitely because that's the one my kid wanted, and not because I needed to throw some color in my kids' room real fast, so I just bought the most expensive Elmo plushie I could, not realizing <laughs> that it's like a dead Elmo, which is a art installation. They gave their kids dead Sesame Street stuffed animals. I am terrified. Slime and bubbles and crayons. It's all color coordinated. At least it's supposed to be. We try to keep it clean. So <laughs> she uses the words clean and color coordinated interchangeably. And then the costume section. So we have an entire costume section. Like everything like this is just all headpieces and crowns. This is our Moana Hawaiian section. How rich are you that you have like a kid's costume collection separated by Wait a minute, Moana is not Hawaiian. So it's a pretty organized puzzles. It's a pretty organized area. So this is where my kids have fun. You know, for such a short video, she said the word organized so many times. She said the word color coordinated so many times. I think Kim Kardashian would really like my room. Anyway, that, that was... That was the, uh, the, the Kim Kardashian room. To there was supposed to be a point at the end of this video about how, uh, money can't fix your insecurity and she's trying way too hard to prove to everybody that, but like they have a store in their, ha like the store works. It had a card reader. You know what? Who cares? Who cares?